Have you ever caught fish on a lure that looks like a piece of shit? Well, today I'm gonna see if I can. Introducing the Depths Cover Scat. This is a three and a half inch bait, kind of a June bug color. I've heard a lot about these. I wanna see if they work here. Kind of smells like All right, I'm gonna try and fish this thing weightless, but first I wanna see if it'll work on a jig head. I'm not really sure exactly how to rig it. There is a hook slot right here, but I'm not gonna utilize that. I think I'm gonna have it come out the back here. Let's see if that works. Looks kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Let's see what the fish think. Well, you can throw it a mile, that's for sure. All right, so I brought a three and a half inch and two and a half inch, a couple of packs of each. I haven't gotten any bites at all on the three and a half inch, so I'm switching to the two and a half inch, see if that makes a difference. And this one, literally, I mean, if you're from South Louisiana, you know what a nutria turd looks like. If you're not from South Louisiana, that's exactly what a nutria turd looks like. So we'll see if the fish will hit it. a fish speckled trout there we go <laughs> on the cover scat <laughs> it works this guy got it in his gills i'm hoping he's legal all right not too much damage let's check his size i don't think he is legal we're gonna let him go actually he is he's long and lanky not a big fish but i mauled him so bad i don't want to let him go the cover scat, it works. Catching fish on a lure that looks like a turd. There's a fish. All right. The bass also like the turd. <laughs> Not a big bass, but we're fishing the marsh. You wouldn't expect a big one. They love the turd. Can't get enough of it. I never felt that fish hit at all. It just started running to the side. Oh, there's a fish. That's a nicer bass. On the cover scat. All right. Still not a big one, but in these marshes where I fish, they don't get very big. I mean, they get bigger than that, believe me, but he definitely wanted to cover scat. If it was calmer today, I'd fish this thing free line, but even with a jig head, I got such a belly in my line, it would just blow this thing all over. Supposedly, its big attraction is that it really smells good to fish. Kind of like gulp. You know, gulp smells terrible, but fish love it. This doesn't smell like gulp. It's got a different smell. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, speckled trout, speckled trout. <laughs> That's definitely a keeper. I love when you find a new bait and it works. Yep, he coming home. Oh, there's a fish. What is that? A bass. I just caught that speckled trout. Now we got a bass. Exact same spot. <laughs> Look at this. Crazy. See you, dude. You know, people mention all the time and commenting on these videos that it's impossible, impossible to catch speckled trout in the same areas that you're catching largemouth bass. Generally, it's from know it alls who don't know what they're talking about, obviously. You fish South Louisiana, you know that. I'm not gonna deny that it's awesome. <laughs> I love catching bass and reds, bass and speckled trout, heck, even speckled trout and redfish on back-to-back -back casts. 
but it's anything but rare here. Now, where the front of the motor is, it's 1.8 feet, the trolling motor, but obviously it drops off right here. That's where those fish are hitting me, right on that ledge, almost right under the boat. I had a hit before I caught that speck and missed him. And this is how your trips are this time of year. Stick a few fish, then you move. Stick a few more fish and move again. You don't have the really big schools like you'll have later in the winter. But I love this style of fishing, particularly with a new bait that's delivering. Now, a couple of the fish I've caught today, I just saw my line running, didn't feel them hit, and that's really a good sign for this bait. They're not wanting to spit it, so that means it smells or tastes natural to them, and they're holding on to it longer. Because you know a lot of times you get bites and you have no idea. If a fish doesn't really suck the bait hard, you might never feel him. He might spit it before you have any clue he was there. If he gets it in his mouth and it doesn't feel right to him, doesn't taste right, tastes like plastic, he could spit it before you ever even knew it. Cover scat also catches marsh grass. You throw it up on the bank. How's it going? Y'all catching them? A few. A plague of needlefish in here. Man, it's crazy. Oh, you did? That was incredible. Yeah, it was, it was an awesome day, man. Where'd you go? By Tedvo, yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. It's, uh, he's been fishing 60 years. He said it's the best trip he's ever had. Man, I love it. I'm really happy with it. You bought it in Hammond, huh? No, I bought it from them, from Avid. Yeah. Well, good luck, fellas. All right, if you're not scared to fish something that looks and smells like <laughs> pick up these depths. <laughs> Cover scat. Man, this one's all torn up. Look at this. Used and abused. Definitely impressed with it. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you be notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on. Maybe next time, we'll also be fishing with a piece of s.